Welcome to Thoughts on Thursday. It's Reverend Miller and Stuart Holmes. We are preparing for really what we would call the last day and or last Sunday of Lent, and then we have Palm Sunday, which is still part of the Lenten season. But we're we're coming into the end of Lent. This idea of forty days, just like Jesus was in the desert for forty days, where he fasted and then he was tempted. And so Lent is that season where we're called to fast, to contemplate our mortality, and to, to reflect on how God's working in our lives. So to repent where we need to and uh, share forgiveness to those we need to share forgiveness with. That's, in a nutshell, Lent. And so what, one of the things we did with worship is change Lent a little bit to be more contemplative. A little more reflective and a little not as um, upbeat as maybe a lot of our Sundays. And now, not to throw Stuart under the bus, but as our music minister and director, he wants to make sure we sing well. So the first hymn, usually he likes a big, oh, powerful <laughs> hymn to to set us up. But we did the opposite and Lent to to start in contemplation and then a hymn that we might normally have as our praise hymn to conclude with it coming on to Easter you know and so this coming Sunday we're singing 79 kind maker of the world it's in our Lenten section it's written by uh, Gregory the Great who would also be known as Pope Gregory the first so 79 79, huh? Kind maker of the world. Oh, yes. I remember that one. And he lived from 540 to 604. One of the reasons I like our hymn, though, is there is some ancient text in there, and it is us rooted into the past, but also with an eye to the future. So this will be a more contemplative hymn, but it really does talk about this Lenten experience, what it's supposed to be. And as we think of history, right, our first mention of Lent as a season, and we believe it's the first um, liturgical season developed, would be Lent, would be AD 339. Remember that? I don't. I don't know. Athanasius wrote <laughs> that Lent was 40 days of fasting for the whole world. To, to do this. And then a little bit later, St. Augustine talked about Lent as 40 days of fasting and said that other days of fasting is up to the person, but not to fast during Lent would be a sin. Uh-oh. Woo. So, <laughs> while Gregory and Athanasius and Augustine would be Catholic and we have reformed or broken off the Catholic Church, we still see this as our, our history. But it's to, to have history, but also to have wonder and newness. So I, I got a little quote just to pump up Gregory the Great in this hymn we're going to be singing on Sunday. Sunday, he says this. We make idols of our concepts, but wisdom is born of wonder. I like that, especially for Lent. I mean, it's an ancient tradition, one that can bring a lot of understanding but also to make idols of those con concepts is wrong. We should come with wonder and, and see how God's speaking to us now and see how this Lenten experience can maybe change our thinking and change who we are. And that's been part of our theme for Lent. Right. Pretty in depth, isn't it? And part of, you know, if we're told at the beginning of Lent, from ashes you have come, or dust you have come, to dust you shall return. There's a little uncomfort. So, Stuart's a great sport. He's a little uncomfortable in Lent with the hymn not being a, a big one at first to set our singing off. But he's he's accommodated me, and I appreciate that. <laughs> and so, those are my thoughts. I look forward to oh our Sunday in Lent this Sunday. And, and now it's my turn after Yeah, it's that. now your and, turn. Oh you want to talk about the sermon instead oh. of music since they talked about music? <laughs> well, uh, what, uh, what I came across, of course, is, uh, is 
pretty close thematically to what we're doing. Uh, out of the depths I cry to thee, uh, or to you, depending on the hymnal that you're looking at. Uh, it's a wonderful uh, uh, hymn that is uh, just filled with that, that anxiety and that stress and that I can't remember the word you used. <laughs> but Uncomfort. That, yeah. That, contemplation. Yeah, contemplation. And it's, and it's from the Psalter, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's a psalm and this lament. Uh, yeah, Psalm 130. And uh, I started the, this uh, today's video with that theme played in the pedal. And that plays over and over over again. Um, it's kind of a passagalia and it it, um, it just uh, builds up in the pian in the uh, cans to the point to full organ. Um, so I'm switching it up a little bit. The post is going to start with that very quiet contemplative and then uh, this composer just builds on it and uh, it ends up being quite a thrilling uh, postlude. Uh, it was interesting, I noticed in our hymnal, uh, which uh, is the uh, PC USA hymnal. The old one. The older one. <laughs> now, um, and it says, out of the depths I, uh, uh, to thee I raise the voice of lamentation. Hmm. Uh, the, the newer PC USA hymnal has gone back to the original, what I at least thought was the original, out of the depths I cry to you. Mm. Um, and it, it's a little bit more passionate, I yeah, think. Yeah, out of that depth. That... Yeah, um, so uh, we have that. And then the anthem with um, uh, uh, the choir is going to be the same uh, title with a different, um, different tune. And then finally, um, as we were looking at the theme this, this week, I, I came across or remembered um, a, a anthem that I just fell in love with. Not an easy anthem. So uh, I decided to have it as sung as a solo this Sunday. The eyes of all wait upon thee. And uh, you've already commented in our meeting about uh, the uh, meeting. This is uh, Psalm 1 about the text. Uh, the eyes of all wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Um, no, it's not a song for hunters. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's, it's based on Psalm 146. And I'm just going to play just a little bit because I love the chordal progression. <laughs> Is the music for Sunday. All right. And I'm going to end today with uh, just getting up to the the final version of um, the pray uh, the postlude. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us. These are our thoughts. We hope to see you this Sunday, either in person here in our historic sanctuary or on YouTube and Facebook. Thanks for coming, and That's have it. a great day.